I've always wanted a game where I get to pick how people die. Death by shovel, death by dog, or death by sharp shiny hook. Or if I let him go for long enough, just death by exhaustion. He can't keep that up forever. Okay, we can't throw the dog at him. I figured we could have got a double kill there, but we're not into that. We could put the dog dish on the trampoline, and that kind of just bounces away. The hook doesn't seem to do much of anything by itself, therefore we probably have to add the shovel to the trampoline, at which point it bounces into the air, bangs the hook, and impales him just a little bit. That probably counts as a death. And we win. And then the Grim Reaper kills his ghost. He's doubly dead. And we're so good at murder that we get to spin the lucky wheel. Hopefully this enables us to do even more murder in even more creative ways. $500 that I'm sure I can spend towards I don't know what. But I'm sure I could put that money towards hurting people. I feel like we're not going to have to get super creative with this one. And this guy's clearly just asking for it. He's already leaning back on a chair, which is super dangerous. Because a conveniently placed light will fall on his head. Okay, the light won't fall on his head, but the bottle of pop probably does something. He certainly enjoys that. Maybe I can just drown him if I give him enough to drink. Yeah, put that in your mouth. We could do something with the remote. Can we put it behind him to make him slip? Oh, multitask. Yeah, there we go. He's going to slip and fall. Then he is going to choke on something after all. That was perfect. All of these people are just putting themselves in wildly dangerous situations. They don't need to be doing this. And this guy's so happy too. He just found a chest full of treasure. He thinks his life's about to take a turn for the better. Little does he know he's about to be burned alive while a zombie oh. laughs at him. Okay, so we put the hammer on the fire, put the hammer on the person. Oh, we can move the fire though. Well, we probably have to melt the zombie and then the zombie's gonna take care of him. Don't know where the hammer plays into it, but I'm not sure I care. Don't even need the hammer when you got a zombie on our side. Like this one seems pretty obvious. There's Idiot Stick having a good time painting a tree, as good people do. When all of a sudden he switches to red paint, which aggravates the bull, which is going to charge right into him and kill him pretty badly. I feel like he could have survived that. He's just giving up. And that gave us enough flames to unlock the purple swirling pumpkin. I've always expected Death's apartment to be a little more dark. But then again, you can't judge a book by its cover. Look at me, I'm sitting here murdering people in my spare time. So if we were to say drop one of these boxes out front, she's going to stop. Oh, do you see what tried to happen? The things in behind her went to slide forward. But I'm kind of curious if we drop something behind the truck, do something with the exhaust, because I'm pretty sure all we have to do is move this in front. When she slams on the brakes, those slide forward and maybe do some damage to her brain. I'm no doctor, but I don't know if that one's repairable. The names of the levels are always a little bit of a giveaway. This one for some reason is called Shark Attack, and I can't for the life of me figure out why. Oh, look at how happy the fish are. We can drag them around. He certainly gets annoyed by that. I just want to do this for a while now. Let's make him suffer before he dies. They're all dying so quickly. It's not a lot of fun. Can we get all the fish in there? Maybe if we put all the fish near his face and then bring the other one over. Okay, well, that kind of had the desired effect, but not for the reasons I wanted it to. That guy's getting sharked real hard. And we got to feed a shark, so nature wins today. Okay, I'm pretty sure I see what they're getting at here, but I'm a little curious what the bird's nest has to do with anything. Can we, like, uh, there's a piece of fence down here. Do we have to put the, oh, we put the fence in the bird's nest. That weighs the branch down, obviously. And then he gets killed by six bees. He's probably allergic. I feel like death should be paying me more for this. I'm helping him out in a big, big way. And all this money that we're working very hard to accumulate, we could buy stuff for our apartment. I don't want death to be happy either. Everyone under my watch suffers. Killed by Icicle. Well, we got a big axe here, so I wonder what that could be good for. Well, he's enjoying himself. See, what was the key for now? I have so many questions. I'm happy he died. Don't get me wrong. That's a pretty good result. But I'm worried uh, that I'm missing something with that key. And it doesn't seem to want to let me go back to try it again. I don't even have to do anything to this guy. He's shoveling coal on a train. That thing's ready to blow at any second anyway. Those are wildly dangerous. Would you look how I can just kind of touch everything to see what happens? Because I'm a toucher at heart. We could take some of his coal and move it somewhere for some reason. Maybe if we put it in here, it's going to backfire and blow up. Oh, it's going to light him on fire. This is going to be fun. Do we need to put the whole box in there? Yeah, that's probably going to build up some back pressure and he's going to choke and die. I'd rather light him on fire, but sometimes he just can't be picky. This guy is currently engaged in a fight with a heavy bag and he's got some power juice to help him. Well, if it's anything like people playground, the power juice is going to be a big help to him. Ready? Oh, I wanted to stab that in with some force. Well, that's okay. There's his power juice. He's going to hit it so hard he's going to come <gasps> back and hit him and then impale him on there. We didn't even need the boxing gloves. How is death drinking a soda? Where does it go? And then we get our lucky wheel again. More gold. Yay. I just realized this game is making fun of stupid people. Because if you're stupid enough to stand in a spot like this, you're probably going to die in a stupid way at some point in your life. 
If at any point you have cars flying through the air above your head, maybe stop to reconsider things a little bit. Especially with someone like me at the helm, I'll make all sorts of things happen to get you in even more trouble. We can make the car fly up steeper. I feel like we may be supposed to stack those. No, that works too. Oh, you got crushed by a car and domed in the head. This level is called Killed by Barbecue Skewers. I'm going to do everything in my power to not kill him with the barbecue skewer. I'm going to find a different way to do it. Here we have very few things we can work with. We can give him the alcohol, which he flips around. Then we can also move the chicken. Well, there's only one place I can go really apparently, and that's probably into the dog dish. So the dog's going to run for it. And he gets impaled by a flying skewer. Maybe there really only is one way to do that, but that is our first double kill. They died doing what they loved. Again, this is one of those people that I could pretty much just leave to his own devices and he's gonna end up killing himself. He's literally throwing grenades 10 feet away from him while the dog isn't even behind cover. But I don't always make the rules. Sometimes we just have to kill whoever we have to kill. Did the dog just eat the grenade? Wait, no, the dog brought the grenade back for him. There you go, at least the dog gets away. And he got turned into a pile of ash. We only got one flame on that. We need to try harder on some of these levels. Killed by Ballistic. A uh, Ballistic old lady? I think this is hot sauce. Maybe we could just kind of swap that out for hot sauce. Here you go, sir. Drink some of this. No one will ever notice that just happened. And he's going to light on fire. He's he shoots her for some reason and then he dies. So that <laughs> wasn't what I expected, but that worked out pretty nice. He double kill. A reward level? I would definitely like my idiot to have new clothes. Absolutely. I can't wait to do that. Are we killing people again yet? Killed by E.T. In this case, it probably means extreme trauma. We can move the flag. We can move the shovel. You think we could just set the flag under him? Oh, I thought he would land on the flag. That would have been really fun. Oh, okay. Hi, the alien's here too. And he's busting open your face mask. The alien without any brains at all figured out a way to kill you and then claimed your life. Look at the look on this guy's face. He's just asking for trouble. Okay, yeah, he's dying in a very toddlerish way. You're too old to be climbing on things. That's what you get. Kids out there, don't climb on things. Also, probably don't watch your video about people being murdered continuously. But here's one where we have a lot to work with. We got a red cape, we got some booties, a pretty mirror, uh, this guy's backpack, and one enthusiastic moron. I feel like all we have to do is wake up the dragon. It's probably going to be pretty mad to have this guy here. So as soon as we figure out how to wake that up, it's going to be game on. Also, I want this guy to put on the pretty boots. I want him to die in a ridiculous way. I put the boots on and he marches towards the dragon. I don't know what to say anymore. I don't know why putting boots on made him walk towards the dragon. I'm not mad about the result. I'm just surprised. Ooh, look at my pretty blue boots. I better walk directly towards that dragon that wants to eat me. Good idea. That's a proper ladder technique. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to stand that high on a ladder because you really got nothing to hold on to and you can quite easily fall over or tip the ladder. This PSA brought to you by the Grim Reaper right before he murders someone. Ooh, maybe turning a light on would help. Well, I can just enjoy electrocuting him for a while at the very least. That's no problem at all. Uh, but if I hit the green switch, a lady wanders out of that room. Technically, she murdered him and not me. She could have stopped to help. She just kind of walks out of the room. Again, someone putting themselves in a rather dangerous situation. They've got an open drink next to a bunch of dangerous poisons in a similar shaped bottle. I wonder how we're going to do this. Maybe by, I don't know, swapping that out with something else or just pouring something in. He even saw it. He's watching it. He's like, oh, cool. That looks like fun to drink. Never mind. He walked away. He's smarter than the other people. But to be honest, that's not saying much. He's continually walking away from his drink, so he won't even notice that happening. He takes a very long time to turn and look at his drink again. He did notice. Okay, it's a color game. So we've got to put the same color drink in. That way he won't notice. And then he's going to turn green and die. That was the first one that actually felt somewhat like a puzzle. So you like balls, do you? I think I probably mostly blame the chandelier above his head for this one because it doesn't look like it's super secure. Um, I have a feeling all we gotta do is knock that down on his head and I'm gonna enjoy doing it as soon as I figure out how to do it. So all he has to do is dribble a basketball and the whole chandelier falls off the ceiling. I have my concerns about the integrity of that building now. I am getting super rich murdering people. It's an average day for many of us. Riding in the open bed of a pickup truck that's bouncing along, drinking whatever that is. Again, these people really are mostly just offing themselves, but we'll figure out what to do here. We gotta get them to stand up. Because if you're stupid enough to ride in the back of a truck like this, you're probably stupid enough to stand up and grab your drink. That's getting... Cut in half. No one ever checks on these people. A lot of these people probably would survive, but 
no one cares. So the nurse comes to give him new fluids every once in a while. Maybe if we kill the nurse, then he won't get what he needs. I'm not sure if we can also hit the button or interact with much of anything, but he looks way too happy. We've got to bring his happiness down 40 points or so. Okay, so I put the iPad or whatever that was in his lap. That seems to do something that distracts him. I think if he gets distracted for too long, he's not going to get the fluid he needs. Does he need something more to read? I'm not sure a guy like this knows how to read though. Yeah, there we go. He's going to fall asleep. Once he falls asleep, he won't remember to hit the button. And once he doesn't remember to hit the button... Apparently blood works that way where it flows backwards and overflows and drains out. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to take the points and move on. Killed by falling objects? Can he be the falling object? I would love to be able to cut that rope. We're not allowed to make him be the falling object, but that doesn't mean we can't hit him with the falling object. I like how terrified he is from swinging on a rope. If you're afraid of heights, maybe don't be a window cleaner on a high-rise building. Or do so that I can laugh at you continuously. And he's even afraid of the spray bottle. It's just a spray bottle. How about a bucket of water? Oh, we can make him heavy. Maybe we're supposed to... Oh yeah, there's an anchor at the top holding him in because of course there is. People always forget. Anchors are heavy. You don't want them falling on you. This level is just beautiful all by itself. The man's in the hot air balloon. He's very worried about that eagle on top slowly pecking at it. I'm kind of tempted just to let this run like this for a while. Just to enjoy the humor of this situation. And he has a slingshot that he's not using, but he probably attracted the eagle with the stake for some reason hanging off his hot air balloon. I'm not sure what kind of crazy experiment he was going for here, but I think it's probably backfired. So let's give the bird some meat. Let's give him some meat. What'd you bring the meat for if you don't? There we are. There you go. You see, you're all good now. No more bird. No more problem. Oh, except there's another one. Okay, let's give him the slingshot, which is probably going to piss off the bird, or just pop a hole in the hot air balloon, because... Well, the thing he was worried about that entire time was a hole in the hot air balloon, so he shoots it. Again, he deserved to die, just like everyone else in this game. 